What is up, Rectech Nation? It's 12 o'clock. You know what time it is. It's time for our fourth episode of the all-female segment, Barbecue. <laughs> and if you've been keeping up with the guys this week, you know that it's fan favorite week. But um, we haven't exactly done this recipe before. We're just that confident that it will be <laughs> a fan favorite in your house. So, Madeline and Shannon, what are we cooking this week? What is up, everyone? Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. We've got Hello. one meal muffins today. Wow. 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 We're back for a fourth week. I know. Still not fired. I know. I don't know how great how we aren't. I don't but know okay. how we haven't gotten fired yet, but we'll take thank it. you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Where are you all watching from? Put it in the comment section so yeah. we know where everybody's watching. Um, We're so excited about this one. This, if y'all don't know, if you watched our first ever episode, I hurt some feelings. Um, sorry again, Jody. But this was the recipe I was talking about that would make Jody jealous. And so jealous. I shared it with him yesterday. He was like, yeah, I'm jelly. Super jealous. So I'm going to make mean, him a special one. I mean, this is going to be probably my favorite one so far. No, yeah. We've done. Hands down, best, best. Even though I love my little spooky pizza last week. <laughs> those were good. I those wonder if anybody, good. did anybody cook those last week? I didn't week? see it. I asked y'all to. Y'all didn't Yeah, y'all didn't tag us. It's really upsetting, but <laughs> whatever. I only cried just a little bit. All right, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did. Wow. Okay. So oh, the um, whole idea about this is to have your whole meal in the palm One of your hand. One meal muffin. Yeah. So let's. So what are we? Let's explain to you. So it's going to be a cornbread muffin topped mm -hmm. with mashed potatoes, gravy, Yum. and a chicken nugget. And just drizzle, drizzle a little bit of corn on top. Yeah. Whatever you want. Just whatever you want. I mean, you can put green hot onion, sauce. Hot, sauce. hot sauce. is my sweet spot. Yeah. yeah. Olivia is obsessed Olivia with hot is sauce. Obsessed with what's hot your sauce. favorite hot sauce, Olivia? What's yours? Texas Pete, girl. All right, everybody in the comment section, tell us what your favorite hot sauce is. Mm. Also, All right, while you're in the comments, smash that share yes, button. Yes, smash it. Smash it. Spread the word. Punch it in the face. We have Let us so come back much. for five weeks. Yeah. Wow. This is week four. No, yeah. but next week will be week five. So oh, we yeah. want to come back. We want to come back. So the only yeah, way we come back is if you keep smashing that share button. All right, let's get cooking. So I just cheated and I got Jiffy. Everybody, you know, Jiffy. Yeah. So I'm going to do two because it makes about, they said three to eight, depending on your muffin size. Yeah. So Cornbread muffins. Yeah. My mommy's watching. Um, One package calls for one egg and a third of a cup of milk. So, of course, I doubled that. Sorry. See, I didn't like cornbread growing up. I don't know about y'all. So it took hmm. a little while for me to get into I it. I didn't understand the concept. It's got to be yeah. made right. Yeah, it's got to be made that's, right. That's do you so like true. it whenever there's actually fresh corn in there? No, no, no. But I do you like don't the jalapenos. Like it? Ooh. So I didn't know because this to me looks like cake mix, and that's how you like it make does. a cake. It so does look like cake mix. The um, pancake, the yellow pancake. Yeah, the box calls and says it gets like serve it lumpy or put it. It's got to be a little lumpy when it goes in there. So it's like a little weird for me because you know you want no lumps. Yeah, when you like make whenever a cake. you're making your cake yeah. and everything. Yeah, I guess but lumps are good. Either way, it was going to be lumpy because although it doesn't my call lumps, for it, my lumps, my lumps, my lumps. <laughs> Make up a song for it. You um, like the lumps. I'm going to put jalapenos in there. So it's going to be lumpy wow. either way. So that's totally jalapenos. optional if you do not like spice. We mm -hmm. have totally told y'all that we love spice. So. Love it. Every week we add a little bit of spice yeah. in there. Every time it doesn't call for something, we're like, what can we add that's spicy to mm -hmm. it? So mm -hmm. then I'm going to get it to where it's just a little lumpy. It also says to let it sit for a few minutes before you um, put it in your muffin tin. Really? Yeah. But I like to sweeten up a little bit because I am going to have spice in there. I'm going to use Razaruski's Rosa, Honey Rib Rub. I'm just going to do about a I tablespoon. I know Chef John struggles with saying that one. Yeah, Razaruski. He says Razaruski. Ros whatever it is. <laughs> honey Rib Rub. John's it's watching, actually, we're calling you out. It's actually my favorite rub that we have. I use that on everything. But um, Olivia, what's your favorite rub? My favorite rub is definitely Ron's Freeman Pig because, as y'all know, I love that everything spice. spicy. Always. <laughs> always. So. We didn't mention while I mixed this, the board's back. The board. The board Last is week, the someone won. Board. Yeah, someone won a matador, so it might be wow. you. Stay tuned. At the end, we'll tell you who won. And I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of jalapenos. Yay. Yeah, I shall love me some. Did you take hey, the seeds hey. out? I did. To I make it a little less spicy. I did, just so it's not too spicy. But then that way, I could put more jalapenos in it. You know, for that little crunch. What's up? Jim, I'm not going to say your last name because it is a hard one, <laughs> made our buffalo chicken nuggets and cauliflower tacos, and he said they were delish. Yeah, he Yay! liked them. I Thanks, love when Jim. people cook our recipes. That is awesome. And, you know, 
if you want to have all of our recipes, Olivia makes those recipe cards. Just go into and add yourself into that barbecue Facebook page. Woo woo, I'll let and you in. We will have drop this recipe in there today. Won't we, Olivia? Absolutely, yeah. it'll be there by Don't the end of the day. Don't um, you, do you put Amanda's drinks in there too? No, we're actually gonna get started on those very soon. Okay, the drinks cool. are coming. I right. loved that drink last week. I don't oh, know yeah. about y'all. I love every wine. drink she makes. Love so red wine. I'm just gonna scoop these in. You wanna fill it Shift up to like red wine. <laughs> two thirds Attention. of a cup. Barbecue. If you are a red wine lover, <laughs> ship it. What are you over there talking about? Red yeah, wine? I don't know what people to just ship some red wine. <laughs> I'm over here just being awkward and just telling people to just <laughs> so ship a lot of red wine. Guys, on Facebook, y'all are watching on Facebook, but we do have a segment on Instagram called Mail Day Monday, and it's where I sit with Jody and we open up mail from y'all. And if you want your product or anything featured, we will totally feature it. So How someone upset will Jody be if send this woman some red wine, apparently. How yeah. upset would Jody be if we got a package and not him? He wouldn't be because he would open it still, but... What about our sugar gliders that we were So, were yeah, for? guys, I've been waiting for someone to send me a sugar glider. Are there yeah, any same. Sh sugar glider lovers out there? Because I really want one. I've been waiting. Every Monday, I'm disappointed. I don't I'm have a sugar just, glider to take home. I'm just trying to add a new animal maybe every month. Yeah, you just got a cat? Just got a cat. She's precious. Black <laughs> cat. Her name's Texi. Rescued her from the SPCA out in Aiken. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Um, so I'm just going to fill these up. Y'all, this is boring, but whatever. Look at that. Uh, we're having a lot of comments about aprons. Oh, y'all know this. Okay, Shout we're out. waiting. Sneaky. We're Shout being out to Donovan sneaky. from Brave Friend for giving us these awesome yes. barbecue aprons. We're so excited. But, Olivia, did, did they notice what we were wearing? No, underneath? they honestly haven't seen anything. Y'all haven't seen well, anything? I mean, we are covering them showing. up a little bit, but so like, look covered. at this. Olivia, get in here. Beep. Show them the shirt. Me? Model? Yeah. Yours. All Come right. on. We have a pocket tee. <laughs> we have our logo. We have RTQ on the R side. RTG. RTG. I mean, you know, one or the other. <laughs> Dirty girl on the other side and on the back. Wow. 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 Look at that little Easter egg. Patrick made Love me so it. happy when We're he did so that. Excited. Thank you, Patrick Who's Donovan. Who's gonna want one of these shirts? Drop yeah. in the comments. Do y'all like favorite. this color? Let's see, let's see how many people want these. Obviously, my favorite. Everybody. Color. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got to rep some barbecue in their life. Yes, barbecue everybody. ones on Wednesdays, we barbecue. Yes, yeah. we barbecue. We barbecue. So what pellets y'all have running? Today we are using the pellet of fall. Pellet of fall. Pellet of fall. We're using those Kingsford maple pellets. We chose those because it's going to add a beautiful color onto these cornbread muffins, mm -hmm. along with the corn that we're going to drizzle on top. I think it's going to make this. No, it's going to be delicious. I can't just wait. Just fall in your mouth. Yeah. Kingsford pellets definitely, they add mouth. that extra just flavor. a whole bunch of fall in your mouth. I mean, I love fall. <laughs> all in your mouth. Look at all this. And in and around your fall. mouth. In and around them. <laughs> all right. So this one's a little small. I'm going to pour it into the other one. But <laughs> these are going to go online, or online, on the grill for about eh, 18 minutes or so. It calls these for 15 good. to 20. I always go right there in the middle. Um, for 400 degrees. But looky boo. there. Look at our Look little what else we got going on, everyone. We got the chicken nugs. We do. Gravy. We got chicken Just nugs man. and we did sheet. So you can obviously fry your chicken on the matador. Yep. We have plenty of um, plenty of recipes to yeah. do that. But you know, the show's only 30 minutes, so we don't have time for that. So yeah. I got Tyson Ain't chicken nobody nugs. Got time for that. No, and y'all, it was so hard for me not to get the dino nugs. Like I told her she so should. Cute. Jordan was but upset with me that he didn't get that I didn't get the dino nugs. Love the dino nugs. But whatever. Love the dino nugs. All right. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. So did you use the leftover mashed or potatoes from last week, or you made fresh? Well, you know, I would have if everybody at Rectech didn't eat our dang I know. mashed potatoes. Yo, like, we you should have seen it. It was like a madhouse. Everyone came, just came down, stole everything. We had to whip some more stuff up. We literally don't get to eat what we make. No, There's we There's that don't. one bite at the end of the show. Yeah, literally. It's that, and then as soon as we're done, people are like, they're off air. Then that call center? Y'all, they stay hungry. I don't know stay how, hungry. where they I don't put either. it. Grown I saw boys. buffalo chicken dip there the other day, and I came over to get some. I'm like, dang, where'd all this go? It's been out for 10 minutes. Yeah. The chicken, um, it's just, a, it's like I said, it's Tyson frozen chicken, so I'm going to pull that off. It's been on for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go pull that while you Look, there's start. no shame in cheating. We no. are. It's not cheating. This is no. convenience, I and that's what the whole Rectech yeah. lifestyle is about. I, to me, and it's not cheating. And do we understand how excited 
kids will be to see that their nuggets. parents are putting nuggets and yeah, pulling a nuggets whole meal. The like they can just, you know, kids like to walk around and make a mess. So like you can just everything right there. You need one of those like, um, what are those? Those bibs that have like the little pockets, like little kids. I wish they made like adult versions because I always drop stuff all over. Yeah, me. I've been wanting Rectech bibs <laughs> forever. Put that well, in adult, the comments. Adult no, bibs. That's what I'm saying. Like adult. we need Rect. We get messy. Barbecue. So I go home every day with something on my shirt. Yeah, from we eating stay here. messy around here. So definitely put that in the comment section. If you want bibs, you think we should get bibs? Please tell us because no one listens. No, no one no listens to me. I mean, but we did get our shirts, and we got we these did aprons. Get our shirts and aprons. Who likes these aprons? Who oh, would want to rock one of these aprons? They're loving the, the aprons. aprons. You know, my Star suggestion, shirts. my suggestion no. was to put RTG Harry and DG right there. <laughs> What do y'all think? <laughs> what do y'all think? I like it. All you right. wanted to bedazzle yours. I'm not a sparkly girl. I but mean, I'm, I didn't want to bedazzle our Amanda HR was like, y'all should bedazzle. I think it would add a little bit of flair, but you know, whatever. Um, so we have some new viewers, y'all. Let's recap the recipe real quick for people that just yeah, tuned in. All sure. right, so I'm gonna pull it out of the trash. Um, I just used regular <laughs> Jiffy, it's a vegetarian. There's different kinds that you want to use. I also threw some jalapenos in there because I like spice. Mm -hmm. um, put it on the, gr just mixed all the, I followed the boxes ingredient. I threw it on the grill. It's going to be on there for about, what did I say, 13 minutes or yep. so? Yep. Um, no, like 18 minutes. Yeah. 18. We'll figure it out. But they're on there now. And then she's about to make mashed potatoes. But mashed 400 potatoes. degrees, 18 minutes, pretty yeah. easy. Everything actually calls for four, 400 degrees. It makes life yeah. easy. Nice. Yeah. And with so the RT700, you cook everything at once. Yeah, all that space. Look at that. We had our gravy. Inches. We had potatoes. We had corn. We got the muffin. Yeah, looks good. All right, so now we'll move into these potatoes. So this isn't a potato mashing and getting all the goodness out show. That smells good. Is it's a potato. Why wouldn't it smell good? <laughs> so what I did is I went ahead and already put the potatoes here you go. In the blender. Oh, thank you. Shout out to your friend Potato. Shout out to my friend Potato, but I still don't think she's watching our show. <gasps> yeah. I know. I keep reminding her. I mean, she she is kind of pregnant, kind of busy, kinda, I guess. With kinda, that. What's kind of pregnant? Kind of pregnant, <laughs> kind of busy, I guess. But so what we're gonna do is I have put these on for about an hour and a half to make sure that they are all the way cooked through. We're gonna half them. I'm gonna pull all that goodness out of there. Gonna put them right in here. I should probably make sure that the blender's right first. Madeline, have you ever used one of these? Um, oh, the you know what? I did, but not alone, so I would have no idea how to do it. Sometimes, Chef I, on. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you I do think that you need to have parental supervision on here. <laughs> We're struggling but over here. Chef John. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. Just give me a second. I got to remember how I put this on the first time. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Nope. Woo! Still struggling. No, we're still struggling. And I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these potatoes. I'm just going to get all of that goodness out of there. Just going to put them right in there with the rest of the potatoes. I actually cooked some potatoes the other day. I'm gonna what kind? Out. Sweet potatoes. I Ooh, love my favorite. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. How do you like? What do you put on your? Megan, let's have. Well, I actually hey, made a recipe the other day where I put turkey chili on top of it. Dang. And it was delicious. It was very good. Hey, Chef Greg. Hey, Greg. Thanks for the sticker. There's so much I going on today. My ADD is family. like. I have a mad sticker collection. <laughs> <laughs> I keep this. You're kind of like Jody. Jody has a mad sticker collection. All of right. Stickers. So you're just scooping that in there. Scooping the goodness out. Potato that goodness. Steam. Look at that steam. And like Look I said, we just put these on the grill, wrap them up in aluminum foil, put them on at 420, and let them go for about an hour and a half. 420. That kind of reminds I wonder, me. I wonder who did who, who helped me with that. Who told hmm. you to cook at 420? I don't know. I mean, it, I was he tall? I mean, somewhat tall. Was Does he, he safe? Sweet black baby <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I I would I think so, but I'd have to hear it with my own ears. But I feel like he may be somewhere around here. It hurt somewhere. his feelings when he learned the bullseye only goes by twenty five degree increments because he was like, I have to cook at four twenty five. So, he's he's so any chance he can so cook at four twenty? 
All right, next one I'm going to do, because potatoes need all the love in there. Mm -hmm. We're just going to pour some of this butter in there. I mean, you could kind of use however much butter you want, but I'm going to put a glove on, make sure I don't spread anything. This ain't healthy food. This is You know, I always said it. This more butter, more better. More butter, more better. More butter, so I'm just going to get this butter. I'm just going to put it all in there. I'm proud of you for putting gloves on for that one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to be better, guys. <laughs> I'm not at home. All right, so then I'm going to get this sour cream. Love sour cream. Me too. Throw that on in there. Ready? Ready! Ready! What's up? Look who's here. You just video bombed our show. Come on in here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We're cooking. We're cooking. One meal muffin. One meal muffin. So it's going to be a cornbread muffin topped with mashed potatoes, gravy, and a chicken nugget on top. And yeah. I got you. I got <laughs> yeah. you. What do you think about, about our, our aprons? Yeah, well, so I said, what do you think about our aprons oh, and our shirts? Nice. New nice. shirts. You like them? Yeah. Who made the aprons? We of course. Brave friend, Patrick Donovan, Patrick. our friend at Brave Friend. Yeah. Well, hey, Rex X family. I hope everybody's doing good today. Enjoy the food. Yeah, I'll bring you some. <laughs> Bye, Ray. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> all right, so we put all that sour cream in there. And now, you know what? I love cheese. I love cheese. Let's I don't need cheese, but I love cheese. <laughs> no more cheese. We're going to put it all in there. I so love Madeline, the way you look at the camera. Like I just want them to know that I'm going to put all the cheese in there, and <laughs> I don't want any comments about it, about all that. So next time we actually charred up a jalapeno just to add a little bit of spice to the how did you char like i've never seen that done before so chef greg taught me while we were in there just put it on the um stove char it peel the skin off it's pretty easy and then i'm just going to put some of these green onions in there yum now you could put chives in there but green onions are delicious and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start mixing this thing. Let's hope for success. Yeah, it makes me nervous. Wow. That Ooh. looks so good. It's like a loaded baked potato. What if it all just flew out? Well, I would have a potato face. So then now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, while this is going, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that Colden's in there. Yummy. Colden's is the best for vegetables. Yes, it is. I'm gonna add a little bit of Colden's. Of course, we gotta throw a little bit of that dirty girl in there. Y'all, these chicken nuggets are good. <laughs> We're gonna throw a little bit of Dirty Girl in there, of course, that Dirty Girl rub. Guys, if you have any questions, put so them in the comments. Throw a little bit of Rasa Ruskies, or Ben's Heifer Dust in there. That's gonna add a little bit of flavor too. It's just a melting pot of goodness. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk. Get in there, Sharp. John, am I not doing something right? <laughs> John looks like he's judging over there. He is judging. I feel like it's not touching the potatoes all the way though. Lift the bowl up. Oh yeah. As you can tell, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, y'all. This is. I am not a trained chef. Making... Neither is anybody at home, Shannon. That's why we're just doing to let y'all know I'm not a trained chef. Neither and like we talked about this, else. yeah, I feel like right. we need a parent. John, will you be our parent for today? Make sure that everything goes well with this. Y'all, those chicken nuggets are <laughs> so good. I'm gonna make frozen nuggets all the time. Olivia's eating one. Y'all. Now let's see. Look at these potatoes. Mm. Those look really good. They look really good. I'm Some gonna add just a little bit more milk to get that creamy goodness. Maybe go a little bit faster. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> you know what I used to do just to make my mom mad when she made stuff like this? I would take it out and would fling around the whole kitchen, like bake, yeah. like, Chocolate cake. Oh, she gets so mad. I thought it was hilarious. I was like five. See, sure wow. getting the nugget. Smell that. I know. I can smell it. It's good. It smells so stinking good. It looks good. Good job. All right. I think those look good. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Courtney Maybe a little is laughing bit. at us, but you in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks good. Just we'll keep Two. going. Courtney All right. Shiffle. While these are going, to keep hey, going for just another minute to get some smoothiness in there. We let's should take go that ahead gravy off. Yeah, we'll take that? the gravy off. Gravy. Sure. Don't let these gravy over, packets, over So I used instant gravy. Um, we have an amazing gravy recipe. Are you getting it? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, you told me to. We have an amazing gravy recipe. But again, we're 
easy. We're doing easy here. So I got the frozen nuggets and I did the instant gravy and I got the easy cornbread. Cornbread's like, looking good. You can knock this meal out in 30 minutes. Um, that gravy looks good. It does look good. I'm gonna and, turn this off. Those and are almost done too. power of television. Wow. wow. I've already got some muffins made for y'all. You can see muffins. those jalapenos in there. Those look so. delicious. I know. Guys, I've never made cornbread in my life. And if I can do it, y'all can do it. Yeah, for real. And obviously, it looks like I've never made mashed potatoes before. So if I can do it, you can do it. Just <laughs> parental. <laughs> parental supervision. Yes. Might need to sign a consent. For mashed potatoes? Know. Yes. You never um, know, Madeline. You know what? I'm kind of getting a little thirsty. Ooh. Even though I do have my nice cold beverage and my icer. But I wish there was a dirty girl around. I wonder where it's might be. I don't know. Are y'all ready for me? What's up? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Nice oh, sweatshirt. I, thanks. Hey, shout out um, Patrick Donovan, Brave Friend. Y'all, give He's that man a follow. It. Give him some love. Brave Friend is an awesome story. So definitely check it out. Might make y'all cry, honestly. Yeah, it might really make you cry. <laughs> but yeah, we love you. Shout out Patrick. All right, I cannot wait to eat this. This looks incredible. Get on your way. Yes. Um, how are we doing, <laughs> uh, dirty yeah, girls, yeah, dirty words. dudes? <laughs> Get out. Gotta open with that. Okay. All right, so today they're doing some uh, Thanksgiving-themed dinners over here for lunch. So, um, you know, I kind of really wanted a Bloody Mary after last night's <laughs> festivities up here watching. That Kino. is all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hurting today, but I felt no pain last night. But, yeah. You're All right, a trooper, so though, Amanda. I am a trooper. I'm here. I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I can thanks do. For thanks, to, <laughs> thanks for coming to work. Thanks, <laughs> Amanda. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to do a autumn sour, kind of like a whiskey sour. So um, when y'all told me what you were making, I figured, hey, why not pair with some good old-fashioned bourbon, you know? Yeah. Mm. What I like to sip on during uh, Thanksgiving. So, yeah. So because we are making four drinks, I'm going to make two drinks at one time in our shaker. So first, we're going to start off with a little bit of maple syrup on a plate. I'm scared to touch that. It looks hot. So we're going to do some maple syrup. And then we're going to use raised warm apple pie. This stuff is great on as stuff. a seasoning. Yes, and in drinks. Like, it's perfect cocktail. I love putting it on my vanilla ice cream. Yeah, waffles, anything. So first, we're going to take our glasses. Olivia, would you like to scoop me some ice in those cups, please? Of Thank you. So I would like to know, <coughs> what do y'all like to drink when you're with the family for the holidays around the table? Jalapeno margaritas. Jalapeno margaritas. You know me. Tequila yeah. or Bud Heavy, and that's about it. Yeah, what keeps y'all sane during the holidays red when wine. you're around your family? A lot of red wine. <laughs> a lot of red wine. A holler. Like, how <laughs> many bottles do you need? I mean, all of them. Like if, it's with, if it's with the whole family, even though I do <coughs> love my family a lot, I still do need a lot of red wine. <laughs> I'm actually going on a trip <laughs> with my sister and mom and nephew next week. We're going to Asheville, so I'll be sure to bring That'll you back some wine. Yeah, yes. that'll be so I'm fun. Sorry. It's okay. All right. So in two Can weeks, I, I won't be here, so we're going to have Rachel fill in for me. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, y'all might have uh, your favorite Dirty Girl pop it in next week, so yeah. make sure y'all stay tuned. Shout out to Rachel for making our logo. It's beautiful. It's awesome it on the apron, on the t-shirt. It just, it's not too much, not too little. That's right. All right, Sheena, I'm going to get you to help me out for a second. Oh, no. Um, and when she gives you that, just put a little bit of maple syrup on the bottom of each cup. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You just know, for like uh, color and you know, just for to make it look a little fancy. They had right. a gallon of maple syrup from Canada at the old building, and the guys would drink it from the bottle. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, guys, I don't understand guys in general, but that uh, we work with some mad men. Yeah, don't we? we really do. So today we're gonna work with uh, Woodford. Really good bourbon. We're gonna do two ounces per drink because I'm making two at a time. We're gonna do four ounces all together. So we're gonna do the bourbon. I'm gonna go one more time. How many ounces in, is in a shot, Amanda? In a shot, was it? it was one point five. A, yeah, one and a half shot. Yeah, one. Yeah, one, one and, and a half ounces. Yeah. But didn't you say it was yeah. different in Europe? No, yeah, it's usually like one ounce in every other country, but America knows how to drink. 
Yes, we do. So then we're going to do our sour mix. We're going to do equal parts, two ounces. Because we're making two cocktails at a time, it's going to be four ounces total. And if you don't have one of these little doohickeys, this is a jigger. I think everybody should have one if you have an at-home bar. You look like you've done this before. Maybe. I've bartended well over a decade on and off, so. All right, and then we're going to add some apple cider. We're going to do an ounce of that. Where can they find this recipe if Ball. they wanted to go back and watch it? So this Ball. recipe is actually one that's on Kingsford's website that, um, you know, Dirty, gr Dirty mm -hmm. Girl and Ragtag partnered up with. <coughs> so go to kingsford.com under recipes yeah. and you'll see uh, Autumn Sour. There's also a, if you're looking to make your own cornbread, there's also a great cornbread recipe on there too yeah. that we made. Yeah, if you're not lazy yeah. like me, yeah. he can make well, yours and from I don't scratch. know if anybody's <laughs> noticed all of the Kingsford videos that we've been putting out, all of our Thanks Grilling oh series. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Y'all go ahead Does and jump on there. For sure. The so guys yeah, such a good I've been uploading theory. about two videos a day, guys. It's crazy how mm -hmm. much Kingsford content we have. Yeah. And there's still more coming. Oh, there's like 50 oh yeah. recipes. I don't even... All right, wow. I'm gonna do it one more time again. So okay. just to run it back, more ice, please. <laughs> Olivia's the best helper. It's cute, but it's not the best. I know. We need to. Are y'all excited about Academy this weekend? Heck yeah. Yeah. So that you mentioned Academy. Academy is sold out for 2000. And what year is this year? 20. 2020. And 2021. <laughs> what year? But is it? <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm gone. Um, so. If you look online and you don't see November Academy that you couldn't buy tickets, it's because it was a private corporate event. So a corporate company decided they were going to treat their employees, and we are doing that. So if you what a cool company work, work yeah, for. if you work for an awesome company and you think that everybody at your company would love Academy, email us and we could see if we could do a private Academy for you as well. Yeah, That's up so to cool. 30 people. I think we have 16 this time. We work so for the best. Company. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Right. <laughs> we. We all do like to party, that's for sure. That's the Rectech lifestyle. Love that. Just to run it back, we're making another cocktail, same way. Um, Y'all smash that share button while she's um, yeah. pouring. Yeah. Hashtag so dirty drink, girl. That's right. One drink is two ounces of um, a bourbon. We are doing Woodford Reserve today, a good bourbon. And then our sour mix, the ever versatile at dgmixers.com, get you some. And then we're doing um, some apple cider, two ounces as well. And then putting your shaker, shake. And then put some maple syrup at the bottom of your cup that's already iced. And Ooh. rim it with some raised warm apple pie and just strain right over, just like that. This will go good with a really good savory uh, Thanksgiving meal. So. Shannon, what are you doing over there? Shh. Hush. <laughs> Picasso in the works. You, <laughs> never, <laughs> you never mess with them. Here you go. Thank you. Olivia, want right, to come grab one? Yes. Yeah. Y'all know this is the good part of the best show. Part. Best part. Look at that color. Look how Well, pretty. best part for us. Drink of fall. Pellets of fall. Like a straw. <laughs> Everything is fall. Challenge. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, was I the only one that did that one time? Oh. It doesn't work. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It's a very you outdid yourself. That was really power. good. Yeah. You that was outdid really good. yourself. It's really good. Oh, yeah, I think one. a lot of guys would like that. I do, too. I'm ready to start building these muffins. All right. Well, while we were talking, I started to put some potatoes on there. Now, I'm not a baker, so <laughs> I just got one of our bags that our friends from Kingsford sent. Yeah, Glad. It's a Glad, Glad bag. bag. Glad I they put sent potatoes it. in, and then I just cut it a little bit. <laughs> that was if you don't have a pastry <laughs> bag, put a little bit on there. Madeline, I'm going to leave you in charge of gravy. Oh, you would give me the job. Okay, but guess what? You're not having to do potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So kids will have so much fun doing this. So to me, so although we're doing chicken <laughs> chicken nugs, oh, that looks so good. I feel shot. like you could do this for leftover turkey. Thanksgiving. Yeah. You just put a turkey on top. Yeah. But y'all ready? Bam, 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 bam. Done, son. Y'all. Wait, now put some corn on there. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, I roasted this corn. Y'all, she did. It's great. I put... I put a little bit of Rasa Ruskies on there, put a little bit of Ben Tepper dust, and I put a little bit of Colden's Freaking Greek, let that go on for about 30 minutes. They How came cute. out beautiful. They are so cute. We've been so excited to do this recipe. Need more this would be perfect right for here. like a Friendsgiving. Yeah. Jody, yeah. if you're watching, come down here and get one. Yeah, Jody. I know you want one. 
I also got you um, country fried steak so I could make you a special one with what you want. I'm sorry, but I love potatoes so much. That looks so dang good. Yeah, where'd, yeah where'd Lydia just made a really go? good point. What'd she uh, say? She said that this would be really good because of the corona and all that. Safety. Yeah, safety. Like, you know, just, yeah, just a simple portion. personal side portions. I love that. Yeah. Good idea. Maybe just do a little bit of green onion. Yeah, we should totally. Put um, some jalapeno on mine. You want some jalapeno, girl? You yeah. want some hot sauce, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think about that these? That looks cute so they good. Are. So cute. That's super cutie. Good I mean, job. Yeah, and you don't have to, I mean, I wish we had more cheese, but use all the cheese. We could probably <laughs> put some more cheese on there. Look at you Susie you homemakers yeah, over yeah. here. It's what are y'all saying in the comment the section? Apron. I want to know what y'all are saying. Y'all love, no, it? love it? Yeah, no, Oli love it. <laughs> Olivia, where are you? I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's throw a couple jalapenos. Does anybody else want jalapenos on there? Mm -mm. Okay, well, the yeah, jalapenos aren't really sticking. Said, that's fantastic for leftovers. Yeah, it leftovers, is. it's totally, it's definitely a, a go-to. Turkey oh, that's such a good A turkey, idea. ham, and whatever. Is your leftover gravy? We use frozen right. chicken nuggets because we're lazy. There you okay, so y'all want yours. You didn't want to These yeah. are so cute. Good job. Yeah. All right. These are so cute. All right. My favorite these. part. Wow. Cheers. These came out great. Cheers, everyone. This is going to be interesting to eat. I know. Cheers. I'm trying to decide. I'm lose my nuggets. I'm, yeah, this is going to go all over my face. I'm nugget first. That's Actually, a good idea. Tyson has a great nug. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson has a great nug. Why does that oh my sound goodness. weird to me? Oh, my goodness. We can't be girls. Oh my gosh, all over my nose. Mm. All over wow. my face. Mm. I'm tasting. Mm. I would, yeah. That's wow. Good. I don't even know what to say. These you say, wow. 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 Oh. wow. That's so good. What do you think, Olivia? I'm putting hot sauce on my Y'all. I love that. I kind of feel like giving, I know we're going to do a giveaway, but I kind of feel like giving away some shirts because they're brand cool. new. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you like the apron, Put in the comment section if you like the apron because maybe they, do. they really did. Yeah. Well, maybe I feel like maybe we'll face. just Give have them, them available. Maybe at they'll some point. be online if you like them enough. Maybe if you like them enough, and Ooh. you know, if Ben Lasaf sees all those great comments about it, he'll order them. He'll order them. So, so anyways, I wanted to give away. I'm gonna give away three, yes. three of these shirts. Okay, let's do and that. And then, how are we gonna do that? Let's do a share. Hashtag. Oh. Thanks grilling. No. What? Hashtag Ben we need aprons. Okay. That's actually better. Hashtag Ben we need aprons. All one word because that's how hashtags work. Yep. Ben we need aprons. Ben Share we that. need aprons. Three winners will get their size that they want in this shirt. Olivia, show them again what it looks like. <laughs> Barbecue like turnaround. Amazing. Show them that little Easter egg. That's my favorite part. Flip the hair. Wow. But you know what, Olivia? Wow. To end the show, <laughs> I'm going to announce the winner, and then we're going to find I just out what we're about to give away, and then this will be a different giveaway. But are you all ready for the winner of the Matador yes. from last week? Yep. Paul Palmer. Nice. Congratulations, Paul. Direct message us, and we will definitely get that Matador headed out to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, everybody. It was a hashtag I love Chef John, which we all do. Mm -hmm. But um, Olivia, I bet you can't hit that top left. Oh, okay. here you go. Top left. I don't know what's in any of them, y'all. I mean, I know what's in them, but I All don't right. know which one's which. Top left. Ta I'm talking about this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you can, it's okay. But I'm really embarrassed about this. I don't know what's in it. one which one y'all want all right bottom right how about top right top right okay Three, yeah one. you're better than this <laughs> what is it what is Good it job. <laughs> nice i sir tumbler awesome. i don't know where mine went but i sir tumbler it comes in 10 20 and 30 ounces um a different colors so all you need to do is share this and let's do hashtag thanks grilling. All yeah. one word, thanks, thanks grilling. grilling. Um, and a winner of that will get a icer tumbler, your choice of color and size. Nice. And we'll announce so that next giveaways. week. So four giveaways. Yeah, four giveaways. So three shirts, Ben We Need Aprons, hashtag that, share this, tell all your friends about it. And then icer tumbler, thanks grilling, hashtag yeah. that, and share it. 
I think we, hopefully we're coming back for week five. Who wants week five? Oh my God, five? my muffin's over. Yeah. Week, yes. five. Week, week five. Week five. Week five. Yeah, All right, everyone, right. tune in to After Hours tonight at yep. 5 p.m. And then we, we've got we Product also, Spotlight tomorrow. Yep. We also have our Twitter oh, after, right after show this. right after yeah. this. Make sure to head on over to Twitter. They're we doing, have shows every day. Yeah, they're doing Tuesday tweets, and they've got mm. giveaways every time, too. They so do. that's pretty so cool. So make sure you head on back over there. All right, guys, All thank right, you so thank much you for, for watching. Five weeks, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? We'll see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech. I want this nug. Yeah, yeah, right? So good. Man.